Hello everyone, my name is Marco and I recently got my bachelor's degree here in the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Skopje Macedonia. So in the next few minutes I would like to introduce you to my final thesis, co-simulation of mechatronic systems using SOLIDWORKS and LabVIEW. I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, at the very beginning just to clarify, co-simulation is a method of simulation where two different subsystems of a particular digital prototype are simulated in two different softwares. Now these softwares run at the same time and they exchange relevant information between each other. The basic idea in this final thesis was to perform a motion control, that is, to actuate a SOLIDWORKS assembly using LabVIEW. So LabVIEW is going to provide us the motion control signals for each of the axes in the SOLIDWORKS assembly and in return SOLIDWORKS will provide the actual position and velocity during the simulation back to LabVIEW. Now using this feedback information from SOLIDWORKS, we can close the control loop and apply the desired control algorithm. Now concerning SOLIDWORKS, we need a SOLIDWORKS assembly that will perform the desired movements. So we've constructed a rather simple 3D model of 3-axis numerically controlled milling machine and in a motion study in SOLIDWORKS I've added four virtual motors, one for each of the X, Y and Z axis and one for the spindle. On the other hand, in LabVIEW I've designed a virtual instrument in a form of a user interface. This user interface consists of two major panels. The motion control panel you see on the left is used to define the trajectories and the motion paths we want the machine to perform and if we switch to the monitoring panel we can trace the actual position and speed as well as the condition of the forward and reverse limit for each of the axes. At this point I would uh, like to go ahead and show you the simulation. Okay, uh, so as you can see both SOLIDWORKS and LabVIEW are running at the same time so we're ready for the simulation. Uh, first we're gonna try the jog mode here where we can move each axis separately from the others. Uh, so for example we're gonna move the x-axis to a position of 500, uh, the y-axis to a position of 300 and um, the z-axis um, to a position of 100 millimeters. When this desired position here in LabVIEW equals the actual position in SOLIDWORKS, we're getting uh, signals here on these LED indicators. Uh, so now that we are somewhere around the middle of the workspace of the machine, uh, we can try the circular interp interpolation. Uh, so we can do um, a circle with a uh, 100 millimeters radius, a uh, full circle with a travel angle of 360. As you can see, the, the circle is now done with a, in, in a XY plane, but we can control that by entering values here in the roll pitch and yaw angles. So for example if we enter a value of 30 in the roll angle we can see that the circle is now rotated around the x-axis uh, for 30 degrees. At this point we can go ahead and uh, uh, turn the spindle on. Uh, if I just zoom in uh, you can see uh, the spindle accelerating to the desired speed here. If we press the home button here um, all of the all of the three axes will go into uh, the starting position or position zero, and um, at the very end, I will uh, I would like you uh, to see a short simulation of a uh, processing of a um, a sample of a workpiece. Uh, so this is uh, uh, it's a small program made in LabVIEW that. Uh, sequentially um, starts um, about a, a dozen linear interpolations uh, which cause this uh, kind of motion on the machine. Um, as I said before in the monitoring panel while the machine is working we, get, we have a um, we can trace the, the position and the speed of all of the all of the axes. We also have uh, numerical indicators uh, which show the, the precise uh, amounts of the position and the speed of the axis. We can see that the spindle is turned on when, with a thousand uh, degrees per second uh, and uh, we can monitor the conditions of the forward and uh, reverse limits. Uh, so that will be pretty much everything. I hope you liked the presentation. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, feedback of any kind uh, you can personally email me at uh, marco.corbic at yahoo.com. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.